India is a lot of things. It is not a relaxing vacation. I'm not even going to try to sell you on that. What it is, is an adventure and you will have a story for your entire life. If you're looking to travel to Rajasthan, India, April and I have a travel agency and the beauty of this is we have the contacts, we have the local guides, the local drivers, the tour guides that are the best of the best. We can build you the perfect itinerary for what your budget allows. Oh my God, we have seen so much and done so much. We got 15 feet from a tiger in the wild. We saw one of the seven wonders of the world. We're riding camels. Oh yeah, we're riding camels in the tar desert. In India. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in the Tar Desert, riding camels. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. We're getting the welcome. We got the drummers waiting for us. We're at Prince Desert Camp out in the Tar Desert. our desert camp for the night our oasis we're here at the prince desert camp this is luxury tent camping in the desert it's warm out here too oh it's freaking hot it even has air conditioning so that's a definite plus nice size king size bed you know what makes april happy look check this out we have a bathroom in our tent that will make april happy will make you happy too heck yeah i can pee anywhere though and we're gonna go do a camel safari out into the middle of the tar desert. Amazing mustache. <laughs> what is that instrument called? called Raman Hatta. Raman Hatta. Raman Hatta. Yes. Yeah, Raman Hatta. This, this is uh, traditional to this part of Rajasthan, then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're the a nomad, nomadic community, uh, community and they sing and tell stories. You know, one of the nomadic community that you uh, say this is snake charmer, this is Jogi Kalbelia. They basically are Hindu. Mm -hmm. But during their marriages, they, some Kalbelias perform Nika. This is an Islamic marriage ritual. Uh, but they are Hindu and they perform Nika. So, you know, nomadic peoples are not binding. You cannot separate it. This is the Hindu or this is the Muslim. Sure. They are synchronetic faith. So he's been to 43 countries. Wow. And, you know, what is your favorite? Scotland. Uh, Scotland. See? see? I've been trying, She's to, get been trying to get me to go to Scotland to go forever. For couple of years and we just haven't found the right deal well, at the right every, time. Everything's been crazy yeah, since know, COVID. Completely uneducated. Can't read, write, or spell, right? Yeah, he cannot okay. write the, his own name. Yes. I understand. So what was the song that we just listened to? What was the story behind it? 
this story behind the uh, according to particular this last song this a banjari and uh, banjari told to everyone ki say you just please talk to everyone with love and respect one day you will leave this world follow this the principle they are the basic the principle of the synchronistic faith love respect their language is a very uh, different to everyone not the hindi and some other community people doesn't know about ki what they telling that's a cheap art and some kind of different kinds of languages yes. so in india there are more than 1200 nomadic communities so you know more than 1200 nomadic languages that's a dialects and they have grammar as well and the grammar is also in oral form not in written form oh yeah because i don't have it right so yeah. it's all oral <coughs> and you know a, a completely that said story tell that said told about the pabu jirato is a warrior they told a story about uh, seven to eight nights continuously 70 to 80000 words during that period in seven oh. nights wow <laughs> they contain a, a fad this is a kind of 24 meter long is a cloth and some pictures depicted on that particular cloth oh yeah mm. so um, from their uh, birth to their wars and their deaths and their family history so all the pictures are depicted and they told the story about there and sing a song and dancing yes they yeah. dance and yeah. yeah. sing yeah the song yeah <laughs> This is exactly what my sand dunes looked like when I was growing up. We used to go out in the sand dunes. I had a Volkswagen Baja Bug. and a bunch of cheap every weekend we'd be out there playing in the sand dunes with our trucks I'm so exhausted. <sighs> How do you feel? Oh Beat up, but that was fun. Right oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is your camel. What's your camel's name? This is Mr. Rocket. Mr. What? Rocket? Mr. Rocket? Oh, I hope he doesn't move like a rocket. No, no. <laughs> okay. And then do I lean back? Lean back, lean back. Oh! <laughs> okay, you're recording. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, yes! <laughs> Jesse wasn't lying. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's like, yep, you're going up in the air. <laughs> I feel sorry for this camel having to huff me around. I'm freaking out. I, I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I feel like I'm falling off. Do you really? Yes. Why? Because I'm sliding. Do this? Yeah. Oh. You're sitting around me. Good yeah, job, I, I got shifted. Oh. You doing good? Look, it's like riding a big giant horsey. Oh jeez. Oh god, no. I don't want to go down. Okay, just... <laughs> okay. You're okay. No. You're okay. No. Doing good. <laughs> April is freaking the freak out because it's scary on top of camels. <laughs> I'm not throwing you under the bus. But these kids can ride a camel for real. And definitely not a professional camel rider, that's for sure. Oh, I don't want to go fast. <laughs> that camel is not going anywhere. That's not the issue. The issue is the speed. You'll be fine. Just lean back. I always end up on a saddle wrong. I thought you were a professional horse rider. This is not horse riding. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, go travel on the cheap. Thank you. Wow.
Everybody wants to know where we're from. We're so far out in the desert here that we're a celebrity. Oh yeah. 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 Oh Desert, camel, sprinting, uphill with fatty boomalati on it. Look at April. She's turning into a pro now. She's a little freaked out at first, but now she's got it down. It was bad. It's it's my vertigo has gotten so bad. And and plus fear of heights. I'm we're way up high in the sky. We are way up here. Yeah. Then you add the sand dunes on top of it. Yeah. The inclines and such. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we just told the boys, oh, we can go back. We're, oh, we're good. They're like, oh, ending? And all of a sudden, we're sprinting back. <laughs> I kept saying I wanted to go slow. <laughs> Only in the desert will somebody honk at you in India. Everywhere in India, there's somebody got to honk at you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, happy, of course. Good yes, job. Yes, I was a little scared, but you boys did good. Yeah. Uh, so I know a lot of people have controversy about riding horses and riding camels. I don't know if it's bad or good, but people have been doing it for thousands of years. I know I do have a problem with the, the elephant riding, and it's just because when we were in Nepal and we went to the elephant breeding grounds, you know, they want to break away. They want to go. They don't want to be there. They don't get domesticated. If the animals are treated well, I don't see a problem with it. These camels seem to be pretty good. They could use a teeth brushing. Right now in the desert, I feel like I could use a teeth brushing. After that Jeep safari, we ate a bunch of sand. I got sand in my gum, but that just makes me feel a little closer to the beach. Look at these guys! <laughs> Must have been buy one get one free day in <laughs> India. When you're driving down the road, there is no traffic rules. People will come at you head on. Oh no, I don't want to run. He's asking if you want to run, Wayne. Oh, 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 slow <laughs> no more running i don't know why it freaks me out so bad at first i my vertigo has gotten so bad i felt this way riding down the pacaya volcano in guatemala too there's the feeling of going down falling forward has gotten really bad i feel like such a doofus i am way up in the air i have ridden horses often but mr rocket is his name and i am way up in the sky so i've got the heights thing too but i've tried to find a groove and do what the man said and have free mind <laughs> ah, crazy hello yes <laughs> yes a little scary but good <laughs> When I was researching this trip, everybody's like, oh, come on the real camo safari, non-touristy one. This is the touristy safari. We're about to go see the sunset in the non-touristy -touristy safari. But we're just going to take the Jeep because it's hard to ride a camel when you're 50 years old. Well, I'm 49. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You did a good job, buddy. You did. I know I'm a fatty. I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Rocket. 
Thank you. Um, How are you, friend? Camel safari is good? Camel safari is good. Old body busted. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. That was fun, doing the Jeep safari and the camel safari. I'm not going to be walking tomorrow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my giveaway gives it stability. <laughs> so, Alright guys, we're on a night nice so, safari. So. We're going through the desert at a slow pace. Much nicer. Oh wow. Come here, my dear. Oh look at this. Nice white linen sheets out in the middle of the desert. Do you guys want to come out here and stay in the middle of the night? After this Jeep Safari, it, it was so much fun in the moment, but I'm not even going to lie to you. My body is busted up. Tell us why we should come experience this. And then you get to the Tar Desert, and it's definitely more relaxing. A night sky of a true dark sky is impressive. I love looking at the stars, but it trips me out like... It blows my mind if you think about how far away these things are. Wherever in the world you are, when I gaze at a magical night sky and then I go, holy bleepity bleep, I'm in India and I'm gazing the sky. Ooh, this I... is definitely worth doing. Come experience the Tar Desert of Rajasthan. We were out here watching some traditional folk dancing. You're gonna dance? I'm gonna try. <laughs> what the Lord? Good for you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? April? April. April, yes. Yeah. month. You wanted to dance. <laughs> oh my god. She's not even missing a bead. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun though.
we want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.